Morning, guys and gals. Froggy here. This is my O2 Suburban 1500 series. Uh, take my word for it. I'm laying down underneath it. And uh, this is the ABS module on these O2 trucks. It's This is the, the side rail, the driver's side rail. Whoops, not that. That right there is the driver's side rail. Um, so... Uh, that is where they put it on an O2 Suburban. It's only front wheel drive. It's only front wheel ABS. It's not rear wheel ABS. Um, and I've been having a problem with the ABS light and the brake light coming on at the same time. Uh, the first thing I tried to fix uh, was to replace both the wheel speed sensors, which are part of the ABS functioning and that didn't work now before you accuse me of throwing parts at a problem without a proper diagnosis um i also had to do a front brake job anyway so i was already in there and uh, the only extra thing i had to do was remove the caliper bracket and uh, buy the two sensors which were about 25 bucks a piece so i thought it was worth a shot um but it didn't work. I'm still getting the lights. This is the power to the unit. The circuit board is on the top. It's bolted on the top. But before I get into that, I am going to try cleaning this connection, this power connection, because it's in a place where it could get uh, dirt, moisture, corrosion. And also, if I can swing around here, I think this is the ground for that. That's the closest ground to the ABS. Uh, so I'm going to try taking that off, cleaning it, and putting that together. So those two things. And then we're going to drive the truck for um, a couple of days and see if the light comes back on. Now, this problem would show up. Um, I said it was intermittent, but it would happen every time I drive the truck. Intermittent on and off, but every time I drive the truck, I would get that... Uh, trouble lights on the dash. I did try reading the codes. Uh, on an O2, the OBD2 codes are not that terrific. I got one code, but it was for the steering wheel position sensor, and I'm not having any issues with that. Uh, so uh, that was what I did uh, code-wise. So let's get this done. It should take me less than 10 minutes to do this, and then maybe I'll drive it to the gym tonight and see what happens, okay? Okay, so there were two grounds there, that's fine. Uh, the nut, or I should say the bolt, came off very easy, uh, which I did not like. Um, so, um, you know, there's a possibility right there. I'm gonna clean those up. I'll put a little dielectric on there to prevent any corrosion or moisture from getting to the contact and put it back on. Okay, I got them all shined up. Um, if you're thinking, wow, this uh, truck looks pretty nice for an O2 with about 125,000 miles, it has spent its whole life in California, Southern California. So um, if you've seen any videos from the upper Midwest or East Coast or even some places down uh, the southeast, uh, they get pretty rusted up compared to this. Uh, so anyway, uh, put some dielectric on there. A dielectric is not a conductor of electricity. It's, oh, I'm trying to show you. Yeah. It's to protect the uh, connection from uh, the ingress of moisture or dirt. Uh, so that it stays a good contact, okay? So this is not that thick a piece of metal, so don't crank on this too, too hard or you'll be stripping it out, uh, okay? Okay, I took this one apart. Um, you just pull off, pull out with that clip, pull the clip out a little bit and pull it down came apart very easy, which I didn't like again, but it does look very clean and dry. And the other side of it, I don't know if you can, if I can focus on that. 
not very well, I don't think, but it's pretty clean and dry. I decided I am going to also take this connection apart. Uh, this is a lock on the connection right there. And then I'm going to see if I can pull this apart and just clean. And uh, I have electrical contact cleaner spray that I would spray here and there. And uh, might as well, since I'm here, I might as well do both of them. And then I've eliminated all the connections. Um, the next thing would be to take the module off the top. And there's a circuit board in there, and sometimes that circuit board gets old and bad and needs to be rebuilt or replaced. So let me get this apart. So for that red safety lock, you have to squeeze together the... Um, the sides, I'm, I can't really, I'm one-handed here, but those two little side wing things, squeeze them towards the central part of the uh, locker and that one then pull down with it, okay? And this one, I'm probably gonna be pushing in on that, but I'm not sure yet, let me get it out. Yeah, that one would be a push, push in and pull down. And again, all the connections look good. And again, it came to came apart kind of easy compared to the way other electrical connections have, have come apart. And there's a lot of them in there. So I'm going to get my spray and spray it all and look at the pins and make sure they all look good. I'm sure they are. And I'm going to shove it back together. That's what I like to use uh, on my electrical connections. I'll put a link down in the comments. And uh, I sprayed everything up. And I'm going to put some dielectric around the perimeters of all those connections to try and keep out a little bit of moisture or dust or whatever can get in there and plug them back together. So, I'm going to drive it, and if the lights don't come back on, then I'm going to call it good. I'll give it uh, two or three days, but like I told you, it would come on every time I drove it. Uh, why do I do this video? Well, you could bring your truck in with those two lights on, and if you didn't know anything about what could cause the lights to come on, uh, an unscrupulous garage or dealer could do almost anything they wanted to do. All you want is the brakes to work, right? And uh, they could say, oh, you need a new brake job, or you need a new uh, ABS module, you need this and that, and that'll be uh, eight or $900. And then all they do is uh, clean up a connection, plug it back together, and uh, it takes them 10 minutes uh, with a lift, and. You never know, do you? So I'm not saying every dealer and every uh, independent uh, garage is bad, but I am saying there's a lot of them that are bad, and they will take advantage of you if you don't uh, know what you're, you know, you know, if you don't know anything about a vehicle. So that's why I, I do these videos, so uh, you can learn something about how your truck or car works, okay? Give a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Click the bell if you want notifications. Be safe, have fun, and wish me luck that this fixes it. Otherwise, I'll be doing another video about taking out the top end of this ABS and getting it repaired or buying one. Uh, I don't know which one I'll do yet. Okay, bye.